you can check if there is at least one occurrence of a specific element by using the in operator which returns true if it finds the element and false otherwise you can also use this strategy to write a function that checks for a given a name inside the names array so we'll start by simple uh, typing so if i want to check for the existence of an element inside array we start by I will print directly the the error so I am checking for uh, let me say uh, Jack it will print the, this ln just a normal message and as I told you we are going to use the n operator so print ln if guys please concentrate on this writing if jack in names array we are checking if jack the same co uh, typing the same letters capital j a k because it is a say a case sensitive okay jack in names array we have used the n operator okay let me run and see and here we go checking for jack the normal printing and the true because it found jack inside the mutable list now checking for um, um, like johnny or john let me run and see if it, it is included inside the names array and here we go we have false okay so this is the checking of an element inside the array okay now if we are going to write this inside an element inside an um, a function and we are checking for the existence of the element how to do that we start by function is found i pass a parameter uh, name of type string and it will return a boolean return name in and you specify here if i need to is found to check the name inside that this array so i need to pass this array also so i'm going to make names array of type array of a string okay names array and i will name this as array one so this function is very important because we are checking the existence of a given name a given name inside a, an array so it took two parameters the, the array that we are going to search inside it and the element that we are going to search for so if i need to call inside the main function is found so is found here i need to pass two parameters the name of a string and the array 
of strings that we are going to search for or inside it. Now, I need to search for George inside array one. Okay. Type mismatch, mutable, list, mutable, mutable, mutable list. Okay, I have modified the mutable list. Type permit. Now, I need to print out this to see if it is found. As I told you, you can directly put is found. It will return a boolean and we will see if George exists inside the mutable list array number one. And here we go, George is not included. Now let me try Ali. Ali, let's run and see. And here we go, we have true. So Ali is existed inside the array one and so on so in this way we have created a function that checks that checks for the existence of an element inside an array and it's very important to learn the algorithm like passing the name that we are going to search for and the name array the array that we are going search inside it okay so this is the n operator and it's very simple.